Here in the financial district, there was apparently a case of parking rage a couple days ago. The Herald reports that a manager pulled a knife on an employee because the guy wouldn't give up his parking spot. So how hard is it to park here if you work here? That's what I asked this man. It's unbearable. I pay uh, $22 a day for parking. Do you ever go around the block looking for meters? Uh, when I first started working here, I did, but it's kind of a lost cause. You end up just wasting your time. Many folks don't even bother, though. They hop a commuter train and leave the parking rage to those who are riding the paved roads of futility. Parking in Boston is like getting your nails done, pulled out by pliers, one by one. It's a torturous, adventurous, athletic ordeal that just might cause you to lose a meal. You come out here early, arrive in the dark, looking for a precious place to park. But when the sun rises like a bald-headed eagle, you find that the place where you parked is illegal. You've been towed from your cherished parking spot. It'll cost you more than a hundred to get out of the lot. You work, and you scrape, and you sweat, and you toil. It's enough to make your proletarian blood boil. You can park in a garage, but man, will you pay 20 to 25, 30 a day. Your bumper gets bumped, your door gets keyed, you look at the tire on which a dog has peed, you look for a spot, but it's futile, such sorrow, and you'll do the same thing again tomorrow. Parking in Boston is a picnic without the food. It is not pleasant, it is not good. It's like a baby without a diaper, an orange ticket beneath your windshield wiper. But I have some advice to avoid the pain. Forget the car and take the train. Carl Stevens, WBZ News Radio, 1030.